Um, Hero, can I get in the shower, please? 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 Um, can I get a little privacy, please? Just a few minutes. Hi, I'm Steven, and I'm a nomad. I spend most of my time working on the road, and when I'm not on the road, I'm traveling to see friends in beautiful places. My dream is to buy a sailboat and sail away, making videos of all the beauty I see as I go. Welcome to a blissful nomad. I've been feeling a bit lost lately after mom's passing away. I've been struggling to figure out where this path I'm on is leading. Hira and I have just been wandering around the Mojave Desert. Sometimes we walk on roads and trails, other times just cross country picking up beautiful stones to give to Vera. I've realized during these wanderings that every single step, every mile I put beneath my heels are a result of my parents teaching me to walk. Every single adventure, every misadventure I've experienced and those to come are a result of the first step I took under their loving eyes. Oh, come. Come on. Good boy. Lying in the back of the van watching storms rolling in with my hero, I've decided that to stay on this path, to remain on my path, I was going to run away following these storms north to the eastern Sierra Nevada mountains.
after packing and going for one more high Mojave desert hike, we left for yet more solitude. There's a sign leaving the ranch that says, you are entering your mission field. It's a great mindset, but this trip, I'm going to some of my favorite altars to worship at. And maybe the creator will give me some kind of direction. The first night on the road, Hero and I slept at a rest stop on the 395 listening to the rain on the ceiling of the van. After waking, we went into Mammoth and June Lakes area. Way too many people sipping lattes and carrying yoga mats. Who goes to the Sierra Nevada mountains to go into a building to do yoga? I had to get out of there. Here on I drove, then we hiked into the Inyo craters. These craters are super cool. They're explosion craters. They're like, I believe, 600 feet in diameter and about 200 feet deep with beautiful green water at the bottom. This is Hero's first time hiking in the forest. Lots of squirrel spotting energy here. We drove to Mary and Horseshoe Lakes to take photos, then here on I hiked into Devil's Post Pile in the rain. After drying off, I decided to go camp at the Alabama Hills. My dad and I had camped here often, and the memories of those times are just what I needed after losing mom. I remember sitting around the campfire with dad and eating beans and trout we had caught that day. The light dancing on the rock formations from the firelight was something both beautiful and spooky when I was a kid. And every morning we would wake up to the view of Mount Whitney in the distance. I had never been camping with this dog before, and I love having Hero with me. There were days, 
Hero is the only one I talk to. He's a really good listener. Unless there's a squirrel or rabbit around. Then he's focused elsewhere. I have never seen a dog who seems to like scenery as much as Hero does. He even looks up at the moon. The drive up to Bristlecombe Pine Forest is beautiful, and Hero and I had a great hike. The ancient bristlecone pine forest has the oldest trees in the world. Some of these living trees exceed 4,000 years of age and they exhibit almost alien growth forms of twisted and multicolored wood. These trees were alive when Christ walked the earth. Hero had little respect though, trees were marked.
Our last day, we drove up to Mount Whitney Portal to hike and see the waterfall. There was a bear altercation with Hero. He lived up to his name, but I was too busy trying to get him to stop to get any video. You see, for a time, I plan on giving wide berth to big cities. It's pretty simple. I'm going to live more. And if I can't do every single thing fearlessly, I'll do the things that scare me and I'll do them afraid. If I bleed, I bleed. A very special thank you to those who have gone to my Patreon and signed up. It helps a lot. And I love you like a bowl of cheese.